The year is 1967 and Trans Am is just in its infancy. With the help of Carroll Shelby, Ford had won the 1966 championship. Now, in order to pick up the pace, Ford realized that Trans Am was going to be a big deal, but they had to find a car that was appropriate. Since the 65 Shelby, they, can, they were considered B production cars, they couldn't run a regular Shelby Fastback, so they created this, a 1967 Shelby Coupe, a, a Group 2 car. These cars started out life as 289s with a four-speed, and then they were totally modified. Now, Carroll Shelby had already learned a whole bunch from winning championships in the 65 Shelbys, and he applied all that knowledge to the 67. With Jerry Titus as a lead driver, it became a great year for Ford, and they won the championship for a second year in a row. The introduction of these cars also helped Ford sell these cars as more than just regular daily drivers. The coupes actually became sports cars in their own right. This particular car, ultra rare, the first car ever built. And what makes this car so exciting is these Trans Am cars have really increased in value and they're great fun to drive. They start with the 289s, but they're built up to over 400 horsepower. They got a Borg Warner aluminum transmission, a Detroit locker and a four wheel disc brakes. They were allowed to flare the wheels slightly all the way around, seven inch wheels in the front, eight inch in the rear. These cars weighed about 2,800 pounds. They could only strip out a little bit of the interior. They could only take out the carpets and they had to add a racing bucket seat, do some minor modifications, and off they went racing. Well, I've got the opportunity to race this thing around too. Let's go. What's awesome about these cars is basically, it's a 67 Mustang interior with the carpet stripped out, some door panel, uh, removed with aluminum panels put in, a removable steering wheel today which it didn't have back in the 60s, a couple of different switches here in AccuSump and it's identical to the way it was back in 1967. Wait till you hear this thing. A stock 289 and 67, 271 horsepower, that's out of a hypo. This car almost four and a quarter. They did that with big compression, big camshaft, two Holley 600s on a dual quad, dual point ignition and a big set of pipes. And the thing's really a lot of fun to drive. There's nothing as much fun to drive as a vintage Trans Am car, and this car, beautifully restored. The quality of this car, second to none. The paint on this car, beautiful, looks look more like a show car. The motor compartment, like brand new. The interior, flawless. The wheels, original set of magnesium wheels. Of course, the performance on the car, incredible. And then you go back to the history. It was the first Group 2 car built by Shelby America. It was their test car. They did all their engineering, all their research on this car, and then it's got legitimate Trans Am history right through 67 by a privateer. The value of this car has to be somewhere around $200,000 and that I don't think you can buy anything that you can beat up as much as this car for that sort of money and have that sort of fun and probably at the end of five years end up making money.